Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you 7 latest defense updates. Number 1, uh, pl private players to develop indigenous high altitude pseudo satellites that is HAPS. The Indian Air Force is taking strides towards enhancing its surveillance capabilities with the issuance of an expression of interest for the indigenous indigenous design, development and manufacturing of high altitude pseudo satellites. The need for an innovative solution arises from the absence of technology capable of providing extended and continuous surveillance over an area. High altitude pseudo satellite emerges as a promise, promising solution, a solar powered unmanned aircraft system designed to operate at high altitudes for pl prolonged durations above the troposphere. Next, uh, HAL considers future vertical lift program post commencement of IMRF development. Officials from HAL have confirmed their consideration of the future vertical lift program under project Laksha. This development comes from the comes after the commencement of work on the 13 ton Indian multi-role helicopter which is being developed to meet the requirements of both the Indian Air Force and Indian Army. These requirements include replacing nearly 400 aging Russian su supplied Mi-17 I medium class helicopters over the next two decades. Next, progress towards procuring light armored Multi-purpose vehicles LAMV gets bids from four companies. Indian Army's quest for light-armed multi-purpose vehicles is gaining momentum with the Defence Acquisition Council granting acceptance of necessity for the procurement of 800 LAMVs. This acquisition is intended for the mechanised infantry and armed corp corps following a request for information issued by the Indian Army. Next, Trudeau expelled Indian diplomat over Khalistan leaders killing. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has allegedly alleged that foreign powers including the Indian government played a role in the killing of pro-Khalistan leader Hardeep Singh Nijar who was the chief of the Khalistan Tiger Force terrorist group. Trudeau's claim came after Nijar's was fatally shot outside a Gurdwara's parking lot in Surrey, British Columbia on August. On June 18th, Nijar, a Canadian citizen with roots in Punjab's Bharsingpur village, served as the president of Surrey's Guru Nanak Sikh Gurdwara. Next. Suave Lamban 2023. 75 prototypes to be showcased. The second edition of the Indian Navy Naval Innovation and Indigenization uh, Seminar Suav Lamban 2023 is scheduled to be conducted on 4th to 5th October in the maiden edition of the seminar held in July 2022. The Honorable Prime Minister launched the 75 challenges for the startups MSMEs as part of the Sprint Initiative. The Sprint Challenges are aimed at giving a boost to the usage of indigenous technology in the Indian Navy and the Navy is committed to developing at least 75 technologies products as part of the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsav. Next, induction of 600 Vibhav anti-tech mines with safety mechanism into army. 600 indigenously manufactured self-neutralized anti-bank anti-tank mines known as Vibhav have been inducted into the army to provide mobility kill against all enemy armed vehicles officials said on Monday. The anti-tank mine is made of new age plastic which gives it adequate strength and durability to withstand the requirements of storage, handling and operating in varying field conditions they added. Next. Aditya L1 gets send off 
फ्रॉम अर्थ एज इसरो परफॉर्म्स की मैन्यूवर आदित्य एल वन स्पेस क्राफ्ट इंडिया फर्स्ट स्पेस बेस्ड मिशन टू स्टडी द सन गॉट अ सेंड ऑफ फ्रॉम द अर्थ आफ्टर ऑर्बिटिंग इट सिंस इट्स सेप्टेम्बर सेकेंड लॉन्च एज इट अंडर वेंट अकी मैन्यूवर इन द अर्ली आवर्स ऑफ ट्यूजडे द ट्रांस लगरेंजियन पॉइंट वन इंसर्शन मैन्यूवर मार्क्स द बिगनिंग ऑफ द स्पेस क्राफ्ट अबाउट वन वन जीरो डे ट्रांजेक्ट्री टू द डेस्टिनेशन अराउंड द एल वन लंगरेंज पॉइंट अ बैलेंस ग्रेविटेशनल लोकेशन बिटवीन द अर्थ एंड द सन थैंक यू